Welcome back to MedZone African Motives. We are still on our revisions, and this is question D from the same exercise one that we had. Uh, now we are on item D. So I want us to consider uh, this typical question that we are given here in the diagram. We are given that PU is parallel to QT. To QT, these two lines, they are parallel given the indication of what of the parallel lines uh, that we have. Angle T being 42 degrees and also the 82 degrees from R Q S, R to Q to S. So this is our S here. There is an, an angle of 82 degrees there. Uh, that is uh, angle R to Q to S. All right, so with this information, we're also given this is angle Y, which is P, Q, T, and uh, the other part of X and everything, we are given our angles. This is X plus 40, and this is X on this part. And we are told that these two lines, they are parallel. Prove that. Prove you are supposed to use the concept that you understand on that part that you're given to prove. PT is parallel to QS. Line PT and QS, they are parallel. P to T, this line, PT and QS, they are parallel. So how can we prove that? That is the question. Prove that PT is parallel to QS. How is that possible? As long as you are working with parallel lines, in order for you to prove, you are supposed to think of your alternate angles, the ones that gives us a Z, uh, think of the core interior angles, the ones that gives us that C, uh, think of the corresponding angles, the ones that gives us F. All this part, you're supposed to be thinking about this. If it can satisfy one of these if the conditions can satisfy one of these, therefore those lines are parallel. So we have to figure out. We are focusing on line PT and line PS. Is there any angle that we can calculate or that we can have? That is the question. Is there any angle that we can calculate or that we can have? All right. We are given that these two lines are parallel, so it follows that angle X is equal to 42 degrees. We are forming a Z there, alternate angles. So X is equal to uh, 42 degrees. So in this case, we can see that our angle X is 42 degrees from alternate angles, all right? So these are alternate uh, angles that we used there, this angle and this angle forming a Z. By having this angle X, it means where there is given X plus 40. X plus 40, which is angle Q, P, T. It's given as X plus 40 degrees. And our X is 42 degrees. So we're just going to substitute that and add, which is 82 degrees. So the wall of this angle that we are seeing here, can be written numerically as 82 degrees instead of that algebraic expression that was given. There is something that is happening here. I want us to cons consider this. We are forming 82 degrees, 82 degrees and F there. If you check properly, here, that's an F, this one. All right, we are forming an F, angle of 82 here, angle of 82 here. So what does this tell us? These angles, these lines are parallel. Why? Corresponding angles. It can't be that of nature to say RQS, this angle RQS is equal to the angle uh, QPT that we calculated, which is 82 degrees. It cannot just happen like that. It means these two lines, they are parallel. PT is parallel to QS. We are talking of what? Corresponding angles there. 
that is corresponding angles. So like I said before, you are not going to have corresponding angles always. Some Another part you prove maybe there was alternate angles. It depends on the situation that you have on that particular diagram. So that's why I was saying do as many questions as possible. Calculate the value of y. That is calculate y in that case. How can we calculate the value of y? All right. We have got this angle as 82. This one is 82. This one is 42. So what is it? Angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So you can calculate that y from there. Just, just like that. All right. So number two, uh, using angles in a triangle uh, from triangle P. Uh, Q, T. We know that angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So if I am to add these angles, uh, that means Y is going to be 180 degrees minus these angles that are inside of the triangle. There is an 82 degrees. There is also a 42 degrees inside of this triangle. Remember, if we were to add this one and this one, all these, they were going to give us 180 degrees. So we remove now these other angles, these other two angles from 180. You remain with the third angle, which is Y. So Y was going to be, uh, at the end, this is 180 degrees minus, uh, that was going to be 124 degrees. So Y was going to be uh, 56 degrees at the end. Okay, so that is it uh, on this exercise. As you can see, uh, that is everything. So these are the typical questions. Make sure that you do the right thing uh, to subscribe to this channel, Mezon African Motives, for more classes of this nature so that you won't miss out your examinations ahead of time.